Hello students, welcome back to Statified. In the previous video, we had discussed about section A from the model question paper 2425 released by the Karnataka board and in the previous video, we had discussed about the blueprint and the model question paper. In today's video, we shall discuss the section B of the question paper. So as you can see here, question section B has 8 questions out of which you have to solve any 5 and each question carries 2 marks. So you have to solve any 5 for 10 marks. Okay. So let us discuss the questions one by one. The first question here is uh, write the two branches of statistics. Okay. Often this question is very confusing here regarding what to write. Okay. Let me clear the confusion here. Now read the question carefully. What have they asked here is to write the two branches of statistics. Okay. Let me open the textbook here. So in textbook, they have given it clearly that statistics have two branches namely statistical methods and applied statistics so the correct answer here is statistical methods and applied statistics a lot of uh, students get confused and they start writing these names here biometry demography econometrics etc now if your question is write the two branches of applied statistics then you should write these here they have clearly given here as some of some branches of applied statistics are biometric demography if the question is mentioned two branches of applied statistics yes then you have to write any two of these names but they have asked the question write the two branches of statistics then you have to write statistical methods and applied statistics i hope this is clear okay next mention the two two methods of sampling now the, there are three methods in sampling one is systematic sampling one is stratified sampling and one is simple random sampling you can write any two of them okay if you write all the three then they are good if you want to write two you can write any two of them okay so this is your answer for your 18th question okay you can write any two of the names next 19th question given n1 is equal to 10 n2 is equal to 20 x1 bar is equal to 34 and x2 bar is equal to 37 find the combined arithmetic mean so this is the question that has been given here so first let us write the given things there so the given things are n1 is equal to 10 n2 is equal to 20 x1 bar is equal to 34 and x2 bar is equal to 37 the formula for combined mean is xc bar is equal to n1 into x1 bar plus n2 into x2 bar the whole divided by n1 plus n2 so let us write the substitute the given things here so this is 10 into 34 you can put a bracket if you want plus 20 into 37 divided by 10 plus 20 is 30 okay so first always write the given things now you can calculate them but make sure you do it one by one okay so that it will make the things more easy for you okay for example here 10 into 34 is 340 plus 20 into 37 that is equal to 740 divided by 30 so that is equal to 1080 divided by 30 which is equal to 36 so your combined mean here is 36 okay so this is how you have to solve since this question is for two marks one mark mark will be for this formula and all the substitutions and the final answer will be another mark so total two marks here so this is how you have to solve it always remember as given in the instructions please mention all the steps clearly don't be in a hurry to stall uh, everything in one step okay for your own convenience if you are finding it difficult to calculate everything in one step please write them step by step solve one terms and write them in detail and then calculate so that it will be easy for you i hope 19th question was clear next let us look at 20th question find the range for the following data so x has been given here 6 15 10 30 and 20 okay so what we have to do here is we have to identify the highest value what is the highest value here 30 and what is the lowest value here 6 
what is the formula for range range is equal to highest value minus the lowest value that is 30 minus 6 that is equal to 24 so your answer here is 24 okay next 21st question if summation of d square is equal to 21 and n is equal to 8 find spearman's coefficient of rank correlation so they have asked the rank correlation here so let us solve it so this is the formula for Spearman's rank correlation coefficient that is rho is equal to 1 minus 6 into summation of d square divided by n cube minus n. Now remember keep this one outside for now. Okay. First solve this bracket here. Okay. And then subtract it from 1. So this is rho is equal to 1 minus 6 into 21 divided by 8 cube minus 8. Okay. So this should be your step. Okay. Next, therefore, rho is equal to. So 6 into 21 is 126 and 8 cube is 512 minus 8. So 512 minus 8 is 504. So 1 minus 126 divided by 504. So this further leads to 1 minus. If you divide it, the answer will be 0 0.25. So 1 minus 0 0.25 is rho is equal to 0 0.75. So this is your answer for the question. So Spearman's rank correlation coefficient for the given data is 0 0.75. It is a positive number. So the correlation between the two entities, variables or attributes, it is positive. Next, 22nd question. What is the difference between correlation and association of attributes? So if you observe the textbook answer here, okay, so in textbook they have clearly given it. So here in the first paragraph, as we know that correlation coefficient measures the degree of relationship between the variables such as height and weight of the persons, age of husbands and wives, demand and supply of the items. On the other hand, the method of association of attributes measures the degree of relationship between attributes such as sex and literacy, literacy and employment, smoking and tea drinking, intelligence and employment, etc. So as you can see here, you have to concentrate on these two lines here. Okay. So the correlation coefficient measures the degree of relationship here. So here this line has been given clearly and association of attributes gives the degree of relationship between the two attributes. Okay. So just simply line, uh, these two lines are enough for you to write the answer there. So as you can see, these two lines are sufficient here. So correlation coefficient measures the degree of relationship between variables, whereas association of attributes measures the degree of relationship between the two attributes. Okay. So you can just write this much. Next, if probability of A intersection B is equal to 1 by 2 and probability of B is equal to 2 by 3, find probability of A given B. So the formula for probability of A given B. Okay. Again, don't confuse this line here. This is not a slant line. It is a straight line, which means A given B. That is A is subjected to the condition B. Okay. So probability of A given B is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. Now probability of A intersection B has been given as 1 by 2 divided by 2 by 3. Denominator to denominator goes to numerator. So what remains here is 1 by 2 into <coughs> 3 by 2 so which is 3 by 4 so your probability of a given b is 3 by 4 okay so that is your answer and last question here is if expectation of x is equal to 18 and expectation of y is equal to 10 then calculate expectation of x plus y okay so as you can see here According to the addition theorem of probability, sorry, random variable, expectation of x plus y is equal to expectation of x plus expectation of y. Okay. So if we write it here accordingly, then this will be expectation of x plus y is equal to expectation of x plus expectation of y. So what has been given there is 10 plus 18. So expectation of x plus y is 28. Okay. So this is the discussion about section B. Again, 
since all of these are two mark questions okay wherever there are multiple points okay for example here there are only two branches so you have to write two branches okay here they have told you to mention two methods of sampling so what you can do is you can mention all the three so suppose say if even one of the option is wrong the other two will be considered so please make sure you write the three options here okay in 19 20 21 23 and 24 please mention the steps correctly write all the formula substitutions and then the final answer okay so that your formula carries one mark and your substitutions and answers together they carry one mark so totally you will get two marks here okay i hope section b is clear to you if you have any doubts please mention in the comment section i will try to reply them or if not possible there i will note the query and i will try to address them in the next video okay i hope this video clears your doubts regarding section b in the next video we shall continue with section c okay so please like this video express your opinions suggestions in the comment section subscribe to my channel and share it with the needed thank you